Hey guys and girls, it's Full Metal Jacket back at you again. Uh, just wanted to show you something I bought about, I don't know, seven, eight months ago. And I haven't had time to do a video on it yet. I've been really busy. And it's a purchase I bought for my lawn service. And that is a Grasshopper Model 227. This is the biggest 200 series tractor they make. Comes with a 52 inch deck and a 27 horsepower Kohler Command Pro. And man, this is a sweet running mower, I tell you what. And uh, there's old Diesel Dog over there on the chain, cause he uh, he's been bad boy today, trying to go after other dogs and stuff like that. So he's on the chain. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, this mower real quick. This isn't a review, just like a first look at it. Um, but yeah, she's an awesome mower, and it's been a real, real, real good um, expansion to my mowing business. Yeah, it's just an awesome mower. I bought this thing brand new and uh, was right at $10,000. It's just awesome. Got this nice bumper, brush guard, whatever you want to call it, on the bottom right here. And it's just nice. Keeps me from uh, backing into anything like that or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, it's just a real awesome mower. It said 27 horsepower Kohler Command Pro on it. It's got the nice big high rise air filter on it nice big roll bar which can kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes because if anybody owns a lawn service they know that these things will catch anything and everything and they will whip you in the face with them so I don't know if I'm gonna take it off or not kinda of acts as a money maker for me because when I can't get under the trees I tell them it's time for a tree job or a trimming and they usually agree with me on that so she might just stay but uh yeah, she's real nice, real nice mower. Comes with a 10, 10 or an 11 gallon gas tank. Pretty sure it's uh, 11 gallon, and it's just right here under the seat. Just flip the handle back right here, and voila, under the seat there she sits. I'm pretty sure it's a 10 gallon. I have to look it up when I do my review on it. Um, but yeah, nice Kohler Command Pro. 27 horsepower and guys yeah she is dirty because I've just been mowing with her all this week and I haven't had a chance to clean her up yet I've been keeping real good shape of this thing as you can see on the hour meter here bear with me for a second you can see it has right at 60.4 hours on it so she's still brandy brandy new boys and girls and she is a nice mower. It's already got the control panel wired in for the lights. All I gotta do is pop this piece out, put my switch in, wire my lights up, and give me some lights on this bad boy. And they go right here. It's already got the spot for them. You just pop these plastic covers out, put your lights in one there. Pop this plastic cover out. Put your light in right there have me some nice led or some nice bright halogen lights on it and she'll be good to go this mower is really easy to service you just i got a piece of carpet on here to keep my thing kind of clean pull this up like that hold on real second guys and move my handles out of the way flip this up and then you got all your deck pulleys right there one there one there and one back there and then you come back around here. Flip this one garment up right here. And then flip this other rubber garment up right here. And pull this back out of the way like so. And she comes right out. Set her on the ground. And then you can service all your other pulleys back here. You got one pulley to the right right there one pulley in the middle one pulley right there a small pulley in the back you got your spring and then you got your clutch and like I said this thing is 100% easy 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 serviceable and that's one of the reasons I got it um, I had a gravely before and it was just a pain in the butt to service that thing another thing you also got your uh, hydro fluid um, filter right there for easy on and off and like I said everything was just well thought out on this mower all the grasshoppers are like that pretty much the big 200 300 series mowers are pretty much all set up like this 
especially if they're um, um, a horizontal horizontal shaft like this one is that's where your shaft runs like this instead of vertical where it would run like that which I prefer horizontal shafts in these big mowers they uh, they're just a lot easier to service and they tend to hold up a lot better um, you don't have to pull the motor to do any kind of work on it it's just a pain in the butt with a vertical shaft mower it's got some big nice big knife turf tires on her real nice turf tires and I mean she's just a real nice mower I'll go ahead and throw this back back plate on for you guys real quick it's really simple you just grab it like this there's three plugs th three things for a plugs to go in there that are on the bottom of this right here and then you just slide that in carefully like so find your holes find your holes like that push it down in come over here grab this one grommet throw it back on come over here and grab your other grommet grommet damn it and put her on hold on it's a little pain in the butt to do holding the camera and do it at the same time and you just throw her back on and she's good to go nice oil filter right in a nice easy spot to change got them big massive hydro pumps right there one for each wheel one wheel motor for each wheel and one pump for each wheel another one over here nice big massive pumps nice big fans on, on the pumps to keep them cool it's just a real nice mower real nice mower give you a walk around of it real quick And the deck is just freaking like for a hammer thick like it's huge it's rem it's probably the thickest deck I've ever seen in my life it is huge this mower I paid about uh well it retailed for about eleven thousand dollars I think and this was the last year that they actually made this particular mower it's uh now the this is a 2014 i believe yeah 2014 now the 2015s are the grasshopper 225 which is the same mower identical mower minus the 27 horsepower kohler command they knocked it down to a 25 horsepower kohler command and yes that two horsepower difference is incredibly easy to see or feel especially when you're mowing and uh, like the other mower would not keep a constant deck speed in high grass this mower it just it keeps an awesome deck speed had it bogged down just a little bit on me one time and that was in some super super thick grass like I mean the grass was literally up here probably guys and I mean it was just thick and it was just chewing 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 I usually try not to to do my mowers like that because it's not a bush hog and it's not good on them to do that but uh yeah i just want to give you a quick quick look she's a little dirty right now but um she's an awesome mower if you guys are uh looking for any kind of mower for your lawn service or just want a a good good mower and you got a big chunk of land i really recommend grasshopper like we live in bradenton florida and i mean we got a good size uh acre about an acre lot and we just were killing motor we were killing mowers every five years we we're going through them that's my little grave lead to get in the gates and stuff right there and and she's been a really good mower too i'll do a video on that here here in a couple days maybe i bought that used for a thousand bucks and she's she's been awesome if i don't have to push mow anything i can get that in any gate that i can get a push mower and so it turns out really nice with that thing yeah oh yeah i wanted to show you guys the deck the deck thickness on this thing just come over here flip this up and look at that deck boy that 
thing is just built like a freaking tank. Big old spindles. I mean, it's just built like a freaking tank. The deck is just humongously freaking thick on this mower. It's awesome. And it chews up and spits out the grass like a grass chewing machine, boys and girls. She's awesome. I mean, there's not much to say about it. She's an awesome mower. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I got stuff cooking on the grill over there. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, give me a like and a give me a like and a throw a thumbs up in the link or not in the link but you know what I'm talking about and give me a sub if you can I got a full review on this mower to come so uh, y'all have a safe rest of the week or what's left of it and uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side later on peace